Hey there, gamers. We're in for a wild ride today as we tackle Lords of the Fallen, a game from 2014 that's fueled by the powerful Fledge engine. But fear not, if you're rocking a low-end PC, we're about to embark on a journey to squeeze every ounce of performance out of this title, so these are the minimum system requirements of the game. Now it's time to turn that underpowered machine into a gaming beast. So grab your tools, buckle up, and let's dive into the nitty-gritty details of optimizing Lords of the Fallen for the ultimate low-end gaming experience. Let's get started. First, let's test the game at a resolution of 720p with all other graphics settings at their lowest. My CPU is struggling with this game, and right now it's barely playable as I'm only getting 15 frames per second. But fear not, we're about to dive into the nitty-gritty of optimizing its performance this game's configuration file might be in a slightly odd place, for some it's in the Documents folder, but in my case it's located on my C drive, named settings.ini. Make sure to open this file with Notepad++. We're starting with the resolution, and you can create any custom resolution you want. I'm going with 800 by 600 because it's not bad for my 60 Hz monitor, You can also disable various elements like post-processing quality, texture quality, though it won't disable textures completely, shadows quality, and as well as geometry quality. However, there's a catch when it comes to the level of detail. Unfortunately, the game doesn't allow custom LOD values, which is a real downer. After making these changes, make sure to save the file, you should see a noticeable improvement in performance. That's it for today, folks. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with your low-spec gaming friends so they can enjoy Lords of the Fallen on their low-end machines. Bye.